Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15th to October 21st, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a general reading for Taurus's star sign it's not going to be your personal reading therefore uh, I will try here my best to explain the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation uh, if you want me to do that for you then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that being said going to the tarot card spread first now the first card this is going to be regarding the topic of uh, Taurus's week the second card is about the core of the situation third card will be about the challenges which are causing predicaments for Taurus and the last one that is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering to Tauruses so let's see what we do have now shall we uh, so the first one that is a very good start actually we do have the four of wands and the four of wands is a very extraordinary card it does mark of a um, uh, a successful finalization of a cycle of development but that cycle of development it is not the culmination of uh, of this undertaking or a uh, you know this agenda that we do have it is just one step further um, or it, it's kind of like it's, a, it's kind of like it's a uh, reassurance that we are one step further for accomplishing our goal therefore Having the Four of Wands, uh, that will be uh, a sign that now we are ready to now undertake our project. That is a sign that now throughout this week our efforts to create harmony into our relationship will kind of um, give results. Or if we are trying to break our relationship, that will give results as well. It depends what you are trying to do, Taurus, is this card reassures uh, reassures you that now it's uh, at the week that it is coming things are going to develop into the direction that you are expecting it to develop which is a, a very positive uh, and on a, a more superficial level you know because things are developing the way that you want them to develop um, it will be a time where you are to celebrate that kind of a, an unfoldment so it's kind of like this card is showing that week is going to be more leaning toward the happy ending than anything else for for once it's a typical card of growth saying that a hard labor that have been placed in the past now will be rewarded with appropriate um, with appropriate results and that's why we're talking that with this is just a, a milestone so uh, to give you a couple of examples here, that card could manifest as a uh, execution of a, a very well made plan in the past how to be undertaken a, a certain project that is going to give you a, a prerequisite further into the future for you to ask of, of a, a promotion or a raise. Uh, relationship wise, this, could car this card could manifest as a uh, you are trying to mesmerize someone well mesmerize is not exactly the term i i should use here but let's say and throw someone you know and, and and try to get closer to them and now throughout this week because we do have the four of wands finally you know your methods here are giving results and now is the time sources to think about you know how you are going to improve your performance you know uh, as this cycle of development is ending what follows next i mean how you're gonna cope with what follows next so th this speaks that you shouldn't kind of like a um, over celebrate you know your victory because yet is there are battles to be won 
and the next card it is displaying here the core of the situation and that will be the uh, ace of swords and the ace of swords actually points to a, a huge impulse that impulse is usually created by one recognizing the real uh, the reality around themselves or what is the true nature of the problem they are facing or what is the true nature you know of the situation that they are involved in therefore the ace of swords could be a um, a sign that a, a very you know honest and should i say frank uh, conversations are to take place through which conversations um, the real faces will be shown of the both parties here and everybody will know what their place is and how they need to cope further with the responsibilities they have either into one relationship or either into one career so that could be this card here could manifest as a um, retrospection of what the rules of the games are um, in either field of your life also it could involve friends and family and this impulse is usually uh, as i said it's he, he the impulse is provoking you know those kind of conversations it could provoke as well some determinate actions one to improve its circumstances recognizing that if one doesn't help themselves no one else will but usually this impulse is created through some arguments you know some wrangles um, uh, some poignant uh, events and experiences through which one recognizes that simply now things cannot go any further like this something needs to be done you know in order for one to improve their circumstances or you Tauruses to improve your circumstances so what we have here that could be recognizing that you for example relationship wise your partner is really taking advantage of your kindness and you are not agreed with that any longer so you slam down the table with your fistful and you say look dude this cannot go any further like this i mean yeah our relationship is a good thing that we do have you know but if you want me to be an angel you need to make a heaven for me for angels does not exist in hell that you are creating you know and that way you restructure the rules of the game and finally you have your harmony all right but this uh, this harmony here or this uh, development of a cycle it's not going to happen if you don't help it. What I mean is that if you sit on your butt and you are just waiting for it to resolve on its own accord, that will not be the case because the Ace of Swords requires actions. The Four of Wands here require actions. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, the Four of Wands require huge toils behind it. All right, So you need to be ready to do what is necessary in order for you to reach that um, milestone of development here and then the next card that will be the challenges which are going to cause predicaments here this is the the knight of swords so the knight of swords above everything else um, in this specific concept uh, yearns for freedom all right so uh, regarding career this card could manifest as you uh, need freedom to take some decisions and that freedom may not be very lightly granted to you Tauruses either because someone uh, some people will want for you to take some responsibilities which are not yours to take or some people will bother you with their problems you know instead of uh, leaving you uh, alone so you can resolve your problems so decision making here will be a little bit of a predicament for you because you will not have um, much of a space to do it and therefore these decisions that you have to uh, incorporate in your work has to be made very swiftly um, um, kind of like uh, representatively in relationship this card could manifest as i said of a yearning of freedom here so um by you uh, retrospecting the rules of one relationship you may try to pull more dividends for yourself uh, than usual and that will be a, a rather like a challenging and predicament because by all means your partner in the four and when it comes to uh, establishing a new order into relationship or into friendship etc etc everybody is trying to pull more di more dividends for themselves and unfortunately i don't see how you will you will be able to here so best thing is to stick to the truth as the truth in that case will present you with equilibrium so we're talking about a, a healthy 
healthy relationship. Again, if you put the toils behind it, I'm saying if you sit on your butt and you do nothing about it, then nothing really is going to change. You have your cycle of development completed. You sit on your butt and nothing happened. So literally that is the cycle of development you worked for. So roll up your sleeves guys and you know, don't slack and everything should sort itself or rather you should sort everything out that it is surrounding you. And the last card here that will be the, the um, guidance the tarot is offering to you Tauruses and six of swords now six of swords is about a card of negotiations and it is a card of realizing what is to come ahead but when we when we talk about in this certain concept uh, the six of swords points that the equilibrium and the peace and the harmony and entirely the cycle of development that you are to finalize here and to move into the next cycle uh, will go uh, is gonna go through much more easier if you aim to settle down some previous disagreements and wrangles you know that are yet lingering back in the past and even if you kind of like come to terms with um, with the opposing side that kind of a conflict is yet not forgotten therefore it will be beneficial for you now having the true nature knowing the true nature of the situation knowing every single fact and information that you do require uh, will be much more uh, possible for you to kind of completely resolve those issues that you do had and that you do had and still have you know in between you and your lover in between you and your friend um, in between you and your family should I say that way as well or uh, in between you and your co-worker bosses etc etc it's about it this week uh, is also very potent for you Tauruses to resolve those disagreements and wrangles and the six of swords also asks you to be a little bit more brave because after this cycle is finalized here with a great portion of success what happens next or what is yet to follow could be a little bit vague and that could create uh, some fear of insecurity all right it's, you will feel insecure of what is yet to come but in reality when you make a retrospection and you kind of obtain an accurate diagnosis of what it is right now you are to realize that actually nothing bad is to happen because there is no room for bad things to happen and finally the six of swords asks you to uh, try to reach a, a common ground with um, with the other parties or in other words to be the peacemaker here if you have for example two colleagues that are in your team fighting in between one another for something well uh, definitely with your insights here obtained through the ace of swords knowing what the situation is in reality you can make peace and unite those fighting parties behind your goal which is going to make it much more easier for you to make those decisions which are required and are vital for finalizing even with a greater success your cycle of development so that was the tarot spread now what we're going to do is shuffle the lenormand cards and see what they are to say now the lenormand cards are about to show a um event uh, that it is to happen uh, throughout the week and you should uh, Tauruses either look forward to you know or try to avoid so let's cut them and let's see what we got now the first one this is going to be the fox which stays for cunning it stays for trickery but also stays for the word clever it also stands for uh, co-worker the next card that is going to be the key the key is about closing or opening the key is also about a, a resolutions all right and the last one we do have the coffin which is an ending which is a, a stop um and uh pretty much it is a about a, a new era so uh what i can see here actually is a through clever actions that we do have on your behalf you are capable to open and settle down this cycle of development that we talked about because the four of wands is also about ending and beginnings obviously you know one cycle ends another one starts so uh, basically what we do have with the Lenormand cards here is reassurance that if you are a clever person as we have established 
and you are to foresee the true nature of the situation, there will be no problem for you to open your doors for a new development and kind of end the era right now, which can be end, uh, ended through a, a great portion of success either into your career and either into your relationship. So to summarize all that, guys, it does look like that you need to be kind of calculative when it comes to this week. It is very important throughout the week to not slack because that the cycle of development is... Um, to come through your actions and your actions will be mainly provoked through uh, the recognition of the true nature of your problems and of your situation um, overall and also uh, the impulse for you to kind of put an end to the misfortune will come through the misfortune itself recognizing that you don't deserve it. Um, Choices that you have to make, that will be a little bit of an issue because you may be running out of uh, time, but uh, if you kind of lean more towards your clever nature, then that should not be a problem whatsoever. And every time you can, you know, settle peace around you, that will work in a great benefit for you. And actually you will be able to, as I said, unite a two opposing forces behind your agenda. And when it comes to a free time, should you have some, uh, it will it won't hurt you to bring some old issues that you do have in between a couple of people, in between you and another person, you know, in attempt to resolve it because obviously this week is going to be very potent to do so. So that being said, that was your uh, weekly tarot reading Tauruses for uh, October 15th to October 21st, 2018. And I hope you enjoyed and you uh, liked it. Again, this was just a general reading for Tauruses star sign. And that was not your personal reading. Therefore, guys... Um, I have did the best I could to explain you the topic, uh, the meanings of the cards, as well as their synergy, but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Um, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you're going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.